The art of Ernst Steiner journeys into the Jungian realm of the collective unconscious. He often sees his pictures as meditations, enriched with dream elements. He abstracts organic natural forms and sets them into structures of circles, rays, spirals, and star shapes. Steiner has said, The artist is pontiff, connecting the present with the beyond, a midwife for what wants to be revealed to the world. While studying at reputable art academies in Vienna in his 20s, he was influenced by the works of printmaker and illustrator Alfred Cuban and the painter Marc Chagall. He rejected abstract modernism, embracing instead Vienna's new fantastic realism movement. This new movement was influenced by medieval art, such as the paintings of Hieronymus Bosch and Matthias Grunewald and was focused on taking realistic motifs and transforming them in enigmatic and non-rational ways, although it differs from the automatist surrealists in their conscious manipulation of detail to express esoteric meanings. The founding members of this movement were Ernst Fuchs, Arik Brauer, Rudolf Hausner, and Anton Lemden. Ernst Steiner is almost a modern medieval occultist or alchemist. Some of his works are directly inspired by Hieronymus Bosch. Steiner also produced a series of dream tales, which were his illustrative books. These four untitled color etchings are rich in symbols of Christ's passion. Crosses often appear in the artist's work as trees of life, represented in one print as a circular fruit tree. In the pool below, a haloed man in orange emerges from the mouth of a fish, the resurrected Christ seen as a second Jonah. In a second etching, a lone cross atop a hill is flanked by a weeping moon and sun, drawn from traditional crucifixion imagery. Winding paths to Golgotha appear in two more prints of invasing figures, bringing to mind images of Stations of the Cross and the Betrayal in Gethsemane. Ernst Fuchs said this of Steiner's work. Ernst Steiner is a symbolist, i.e. he belongs to a never-interrupted series of painters who cultivated the imagery and language of archetypes in Europe from the Middle Ages to the present day. The geometric order of the image emerges through its vegetative appearance to remind us of an all-encompassing, transcendent plan according to which all nature is formed. His work draws on our more symbolic past, the strains in art history that were alive and well throughout time, both in general, as some symbolic element is always present in art, and specifically, the Eastern then medieval fascination with symbols, which had already infiltrated Roman art and paved the way for the new medieval art. The reason it's alchemical is because it's sort of a cosmological theory of life, which is what all art should aspire to be, a complete world or universe. The art historian and philosopher Alois Riegel famously said that all art is competition with nature, but a competition through the original principles that nature uses to create, not in her created works, as in just copying nature as best as possible to look ultra-realistic. This isn't really enough to make something art, which needs an extra ingredient of aesthetic reorganization. Steiner's work approaches this task in a very new way, which makes Riegel's theorem come to the fore so clearly and acutely, more than possibly any other artist, without getting into the blurry chaos of a loss of forms and laws that tend to make up a lot of modern art. Instead of replicating nature as it exists in a more traditional sense, he combines features of the universe, clocks, time, the actual substances and fluids of the world and of the cosmos, weaving them together in his own unique and created system or pattern. This is close to what the medieval symbolic art was getting at, but it did so in a very different way, which was, in my opinion, with less aesthetic sensibility and coherence. Medieval art used blocky forms and overused symbols without being very creative or inventive with them at an independent level, which the 20th century movements freed up artists to be able to do. 
In his later years, his study of music theory led to the creation of repetitive, geometric, mathematically precise designs, expressing what he believed to be the harmonies supporting the universe. <laughs>